On February 24th, 2024, I was catcalled for the first time. I was walking down the street full of a bunch of people selling fruit, and suddenly one old lady called out to me, saying, Eh, which translates to, Hey, handsome, you want to buy some guava? This is just one of many experiences I had to go through as a member of the HOT community. When I meet my friends, they call me HOT, and every month they ask me how I'm still single. When my mom posts my pictures on Facebook, all of her other mom friends tell me how handsome I am. And when I'm walking outside, girls make eye contact with me. And it's just all so exhausting. Now I don't have a toggle on this model that allows me to not smile, but believe me when I say I am deeply unhappy. While I've been silent about it for years already, being catcalled was my breaking point. Today I'm going to share my experiences as an utter stud, a beefcake, a bombshell perhaps, or simply an alluring gentleman. I don't see a lot of people talking about how bad it can be. So hopefully this video can spread awareness of how much we hot people have to go through on a daily basis. If you're an elderly woman who sells guavas on the street and calls their potential customers handsome, I hope that after this video you can change for the better. I grew up with a positive cantle tilt, hunter eyes, no upper eyelid exposure, a sharp jawline, long eyelashes, and immaculate facial symmetry. The only thing I was missing was that I didn't have a masculine body. Because of this, I went to the gym religiously to shape my body into something I was satisfied with. So let's talk about body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia is a mental health condition where a person has a distorted perception of appearance. This is something that even attractive people can have, and this makes people become obsessed. In my opinion, hot people have it worse. Those compliments we get all the time about our appearance are actually bad for us. You know why? Because we might actually believe it, and we might accidentally be okay with our bodies. See, body dysmorphia is good. I need my body dysmorphia to stay healthy and disciplined. It is a superpower, a source of infinite gym motivation. When I look in the mirror and tell myself that this body of mine is absurd, and when I find it completely unacceptable, I am able to take action and better myself. <laughs> Personally, I've struggled to maintain my body dysmorphia because people keep telling me that I'm hot. These people are, are trying to end my grind. All my loyal viewers who I know are extremely attractive, don't let others tell you that your body is good enough. Don't give in to the weakness of self-acceptance. As Michael G. Hopf said, hard men create good times. Good times make feminine men and feminine men make men hard. I'm paraphrasing. Now, there's this thing called the halo effect, where one good trait makes people think your other traits are good as well. Maybe they'll think you're smart and have a great social life or have a lot of money just because you're handsome. And that's a lot of pressure to deal with. I'm not smart, I don't have social life, and I don't have money. <laughs> when people think I seem like a decent human being, but they're actually doing so much better than me in life, I just feel like, I need to just shit on the floor and roll inside my feces like the pig I am. And there's of course the pressure of people expecting that you're some sort of coochie conqueror. People always expect you to be in a relationship, and when you're not, it makes you feel like your personality is the reason. Because when you're undeniably attractive, you can no longer blame your looks for having no game. Plus, when you're ugly and someone likes you, you know they like your personality. If you're fucking hot and someone likes you, it's hard to know whether they actually like you as a person and they don't just see you as a walking fleshlight. So if anyone wonders why I'm single, here's why. It has nothing to do with what I just said because I'm just scared of girls. Stay hard, brothers.